You know, you shouldn't be eating those things anyway. You know what's in hot dogs? I read it in the paper. What? Lips. What? Yeah, lips. They hack them off, grind them up, and put them right in the dog. You mean lips? No. Mmm, lips. I bet 20 to win. So what's the problem? Well, there was this guy in front of me that was betting 300 on the two boys. What does this guy have to do with our lives? Well, I was thinking, since we were so undecided, and this guy was betting 300, I thought that... Excuse me. Are we to believe, and I think we are, that you bet our 20 on the two horse? Eat the ticket. Eat it. What's he eat? Two horse. Oh, they're good. Hey, if that don't fill you up, uh, you can wash it down with a tree. Can we get rid of this stuff for crying out like get a blanket or something? I feel like a canary. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, we take the paper off, but don't get any water stains on this blue chip, baby. Madge will kill me, all right? All right. Don't take the paper off the table! She sees through walls. It's the only broad I know who has a change of life every day. No, no, no. You just don't understand her. That's the prettiest little we in the valley, boys. You just got to know how to handle her. Watch this. Madge, could you bring us some potato chips, sweetie? Who in Christ's name do you think you are? I am not waiting on no bunch of freeloaders. For ten years, these bums have been coming over here. I've never known one of them to bring over a bag of chips. She gonna get those chips or not? Hi, guys. Don't let us interrupt. Well, this is your uh, combination rec room and garage. With a little imagination and a couple of bucks, you could do a lot for this house. Well, I suppose you could say that about any house. Yeah, I suppose you could. But this is a perfect example of a house that could be something. Does this house have a pool? <laughs> no. no, no, I'm afraid this isn't your typical pool neighborhood. You've got to move up town before you get into pools. No, ma'am, this is just a typical, nice, low, middle-class neighborhood. But if this isn't what you're looking for, i got a nice little cream puff and move-in condition right at the corner of Hudson and Ball... Oh! Oh! Folks want a beer? Oh! What about the steaks? They ain't gonna hold up unless you cook them before the game. Hey, you know, I was thinking, why don't I just fire up back here? Hey, that's great. I'm starved. Okay, okay, but don't spill nothing. Hey, guys, I got some hot stuff. Guess who I saw in the can, and guess what he told me? I saw Santiago. Oh, yeah? What's the deal with Santiago? Make my steaks rare, will you? Yeah. Well, he's got a live one. Oh, don't start. Another hot horse, huh? The last time I got a tip from one of them track guys, the horse started on Tuesday and finished on Thursday. That's because he pulled a tendon. Yeah, for dragging his ass around the track. Well, this is different, guys. Santiago's in on this one. He's got some stuff that he's going to give this long shot, and he says it can win by daylight. Yeah? When's this horse go? Oh, hey, you got a nibble. Hey, dude, will you check that out? The thin one's cooked just like that. The, the horse goes on Wednesday in the second race. Now, look, guys, here's where I figure. I say we all put in... 50 big ones apiece. This is the only step I know that calls a dollar a big one. Santiago says that he gives his stuff to the horse. The horse will run from here to Detroit. Why is he telling you about this? Because I give him shoes. When I'm through peddling a line of shoes, I give him the samples. 
I always got a trunk full of those wingtips. How many times have we sat around here moaning about getting in on this, getting in on that, and we don't? Maybe this is the big one. I say we put a hundred apiece on this turkey and quit screwing around. I don't know, that sounds like a lot of money. What are you talking about? You're the one that brought up the idea. Who's right? Money talks, bullshit walks. Right. Remember when we missed betting the Jets in the Super Bowl and Namath told us he was going to win it? He didn't exactly tell us. He also told the world. Yeah, but the point is we didn't take the tip. It wasn't a tip. That was a freaking public announcement. This is a tip. Now, do we take it? Why do we sit around here talking about wet wool and playing with our meat? Flip mine over. What are you doing? I say we, t we take it. Stumps, right? You don't want to turn down a good tip when it comes along. What do you say, wingtips? Uh, uh, I don't know. It really it sounds like a, a lot of money. Well, I'll tell you what. I say we go to San Diego, Santiago, and we say to him, look, if this horse is for real, we waltz right down the track and stick it to him. Let me put it this way. If this horse wins, you can tell Madge to take the car to King Pearls and the toilet and stick him. I'm in. All we really need is... Air! 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 You you could have killed us. Don't let the state burn. <laughs> night in a row for this stew. Me and the guy. What about it? What the hell is with this meat? Well, we get two of those, you get a prize. I've got three of them, I can reconstruct the cow. Anyway, we're gonna pass me the salt. Why, are you sweating? Just pass the salt. Anyway, we're gonna invest you. You want a drop cloth? Anyway, it looks like a great project. Any more bread? In the freezer. Freezer? 
It makes a lot of sense, doesn't it? You buy a nice soft loaf of bread, you put it in the freezer. Then when you take it out of the freezer, you toast it so you can eat it. You got any frozen butter? Anyway, as I said, this is gonna cost a lot of money. And I'm not sure that I could feeling about. I'm gonna break my teeth on this stuff. Anyway, it seems like it's a proposition that I should go into a set of still a little shaky. Is that pudding? Ooh, looks like pudding. I just have a feeling that everything is gonna be great. I just know that this is the thing, the one that's gonna put us over the top, the big one. Empty. Well, you have had quite a day. Look, I gotta decide something. Now, supposing you had a chance to make more money than you ever made in your whole life, say now or Wednesday, and uh, you had to put up some really big money to do it, but you really weren't quite sure that it was going to work out, but you just felt that you just had to try it because you'd never taken advantage of anything like this before, and you felt, well, I got to this time. So you decided, what the hell, I'm going to go for it. But it was still a little iffy, but almost for sure. What would you do? You got to get professional help. Uh, do you, uh, do you have self-park here? Not that I know of. Hey, are you with the band? No, I'm not with the band. Uh, I'm here to see, a uh, Miss Dixon. Oh, hey, she's great. Listen, pal, don't worry. We're gonna take good care of your, uh, car. Great. Looks like we might get some showers. You wanna put your window up? Oh, all right, thanks. Oh, gee, this is great. This is swell. This is a lot better than those glass windows you can see through. All right. Now, do I uh, need a ticket here or anything? Oh, don't worry. I have a pretty good eye for matching up driver and car. All right. Yeah. Good. Okay, just uh, take care of it now. Okay, mister. Ah, uh, listen. Uh, first gear is busted on this. You got to put it in second, all right? Okay. Yeah. Anything else? No, that's all. Hey, mister, make it windy out. You better hold on to your hair. Hope his face breaks out. Ah, uh, oh, there it goes. Gonna be late for our meeting. Hey, stop that! That thing's uh, stop it! I can't get out. The door's stuck. I can see that. Will somebody please get out and grab that thing before it wrecks my car? I can't get out. This is not a good door. Come on, get it. I don't Say, believe. Hey, they are. Call somebody about this thing. use a break. I, I, I promise I'll try to get along with Madge. If we win, I'll give half to the church. Uh, maybe not half, but a sizable donation. A new fishbowl for Ollie. And a camper. You guys gonna get anything?
Hey. You don't! Look what you did! Ollie. Oh my god. Ollie. You see this? You see what you did? Ollie! Oh, hold your breath! I'm coming! I'm gonna save you, Ollie! Hold on! something you you gotta breathe come on breathe like that. water water you gotta get to water no. there you go here's some there you go water water for Ollie here it comes the water He's swimming. <laughs> He's swimming now. <laughs> oh, see, it was, it's like I'm telling you about life. You never know when you're gonna buy the big one. One minute you're, you're swimming, and the next minute you're laying on a rug drowning. You gonna be okay? If we win today, I am gonna buy you a pond and you will never, ever have to worry about falling out of the water again, I promise. Here's your air hose. So, um, maybe, uh, maybe I'll stick around anyway. Yeah, I think maybe I won't go out. Chippy. Nothing. Papa Chippy knows when to make his move. Oh, oh my God. I'm gonna kill myself. Oh, well, Fusco will handle that for you. As they move to the top of the stretch, Brookside Dream takes the lead. When he see me standing there in that red shirt yelling for him to hit the wire, he puts it in the high gear for old Jelly. Come on. Richard, Richard for the horse. What? Richard! Get, right. Give me Get the red the horse! What are you told? Where are you going? Yeah. like Papa Chippy to me. Oh, what the hell do you know? Who got it? Who got it? Did you see? Did you see? Who got it? Hey, uh, look, guys, just, just a couple of minutes till we find out who won, huh? Come on, move. You're hurting my arm. Hey, don't hurt my friend. Hey! 
Is anybody out there? Hey! What? Can you hear me? What do you want? I got one. Hey, who won the second race? What are you in for? I'm not in for nothing. Who won the second race? I hope you're fry. Well, you sure don't make people like they used to. Can you mention that? Fry. Duel, I want you to know that if Fusco comes after you, he's going to have to go through me first. Thanks, Stump. I appreciate that. If something does happen to me, though, would you look after my fish? That's right. Your buddy's posted bail. Whoa, huh? Hey, you wouldn't happen to know who won the second race, would you? Check with information. If you got two ones, I'll give you five. We need to change. I ain't got it. You're busted. Yeah. Get these two clowns out of here. I'll see you on the 14th. You say we're busted? Flat busted. Hey guys, uh, I'm sorry. I thought we had a shot at a piece of the pie and I... I, I really Hey, don't worry about it. Maybe Fusco will lighten up for one time. No chance. One of his hoods gave Elton such a chop in the ribs you won't believe, just as a preview. Really? Show him, Elton.